Hey everyone and welcome to the club. Today I'll be showing you how to draw Samurai Jack. Let's get started in the center of our page. I'm going to start with an angled line for the upper eyelid on the left side. So starting from the outside, we're going to come down with a straight angled line. Now at the bottom here, I'm just going to draw a little check mark, a little angled line going up. From the outside towards the inside, I just want to draw a curve for the bottom of the eyelid. Starting on the outside, we'll kind of curve around. We're just going to pull that back up. Let's go to the center. Right in here, we're going to draw an angled line coming down, a slight angle for the bridge of the nose. Now we're going to go straight across the bottom with a short line like that. Let's go to the right side and draw on this eye. So from the top of the nose, we're going to step down and draw an angled line going up towards the right. Now we're going to draw the same thing we did on the left. We're going to curve the bottom of the eyelid towards the inside. Starting on the inside, we're going to curve down and we're going to pull that back up. Let's tuck the pupils in underneath the eyelid. So right here in the middle, we're going to draw a half circle. We're going to color that in black. Now on the right side, we're going to tuck this in on the inside of the eye. Curving around, back up. We'll color that in black as well. Now at the bottom of the nose, we're going to step down and draw a short straight line going across for the mouth. Let's go up above the eyes and we're going to draw on the top of the head. So a straight line going across the top Want to make sure that they extend just past the eyes. Now we're going to curve around the side of the head down towards the chin. Starting on the left side, we're going to curve around the eye and we're going to pull it inwards, just down here. On the right, we'll do the same thing. So curving around and then pulling that in. We're going to connect the bottoms with a straight line going across. Let's draw in the edge of the hair. So in between the eyes, just above the nose, we're going to draw a little point. From this point, we're going to angle up towards the left, aiming towards that corner. Do the same thing on the right side, aiming towards the corner. Now from this point on the left, we're going to curve around the eye to the side of the head. We'll do the same thing on the right side. Now we're going to color the hair in black. Now on the side of the head, we're going to tuck in the ears. So just in line with the eye, we're going to do a half circle, going out and then in. In the inside here, we're just going to draw a little curve. Let's do the same thing on the right side. So a little half circle. We'll draw that little hook on the inside. Let's go to the top of the head and draw the top knot. So right in the middle here, we're going to curve up and out towards the left. From the top, we're going to angle down towards the right. Now we're going to pull this back in. So it tapers in towards the middle. We're going to color this all in black. Now at the base here, we're just going to draw a straight line going across like that. Now we're going to draw the character with the body turned, holding a sword on the right side here. So we start with the arm on the left here. So from this corner of the chin, we're going to step in and draw a straight angled line coming across like that. We're going to go across the top, making sure it goes past the ear to right about there. Now from here, we're going to draw on the edge of the sleeve. So from this point, we're going to step over towards the left and curve down and out towards the left curving down. Let's go back up to the ear. We're going to curve the outside of the shoulder. We're going to come down and out. Curving out and down to right about there. We're going to connect those two points with a curve. So we're going to do a hard turn going to the bottom of that sleeve. Let's draw the cuff. So we're about halfway along this line. We're going to curve around and we're just going to go a little bit wider as you get down towards the bottom. Let's draw a little wrinkle, a little swirl. So from the inside of the elbow, we're just going to curl around like that. Let's go ahead and finish off this hand. You're going to see the back side of the fist. So from here we're going to go straight up. We're going to go across with a little short line. And then we're going to come down with a little short line. We're going to overlap this with a line going out towards the knuckles. Now we're going to come down with a straight line along the knuckles like that. Now we're going to curve the bottom of the arm in behind this cup going across like that. Right up in here we're going to draw a little S shape for the back of the knuckles. And then along this line, we're gonna draw three little lines, little notches for the fingers, going across evenly spaced like that. Let's draw the sword handle in between the hands. So from this line, we're just gonna extend it further up. And then from this finger, from the edge of the knuckles, we're gonna go straight up. Now from here, we just wanna connect those two points with a straight line. From this corner, I just wanna angle upwards slightly, going up. Now we're gonna go up in an angle towards the right. 
Now we're going to overlap the finger in behind. So right down here, we're going to go up in an angle again. Go straight up with a short line. Now we're going to go across with a straight line from the top of the hand to right about there. Now we're going to curve this back and aiming towards that corner. I'm just going to curve across. We're not going to go all the way through. Now here we want to draw a backwards S. Going across like that. We're going to draw two little lines going up in an angle for the knuckles. Now from this part of the hand, we're going to step up and draw a straight line going out towards the elbow. Going across to right about there. We're going to extend this line in behind the hand in towards the head. Going in for the shoulder. Now right here we want to draw a straight line. For the knuckle we're going to step over towards the right and draw a straight line coming down. And down to right about there. We're going to connect that point to the inside of the cuff with a curve. So we curve around and then down. Let's draw on the sleeve. So right here we're going to draw a straight line coming down. And then from this part of the hand we're going to draw an angled line coming in behind the cuff. We'll draw on the bottom of the sleeve. So from this corner we're going to step up and angle up in behind that knuckle. Let's add a little detail to this handle. So from this corner we're going to angle down just a little bit higher than the knuckle there. Coming across. And we'll do the same thing from this corner coming down. We're going to color these two points in black. Now at the bottom here from this point we're just going to angle in. Color that corner in black. We'll do the same thing on the right side. Angling in and just color that little corner in black. Let's work our way up the sword. So we're going to start with the hilt. So from the top of the hand here, we're just going to extend the lines out a little bit on either side. From the left, we're going to angle up. On the right, we're going to angle out towards the right with a shorter angle, going up like that. We'll connect those two points with a straight line coming down. Now for the sword, it's sort of bent this way towards the right. So we're going to start on the right side of center, curve up and out. From this point, we're going to angle up to the tip of the sword. Now we're going to pull that back in, going a little bit narrower as we come back in towards the hilt. So coming back down like that. Let's add in the collar here. So at the bottom of the chin, from this corner, we're going to step over towards the left, curving across behind the arm. We're going to go up just underneath the earlobe, and we'll curve across in behind the arm as well. The final step we're going to add in the legs. So the legs are going to be bent over towards the right. So at the bottom of this arm right here, curve out and then down towards the right, towards the knee. Now we're going to curve down towards the bottom. Curving down to right about there. We're going to go to the back side here and draw a curve going out towards the heel. So from this elbow, we're going to step down, curving out and then down, making sure they're roughly the same length. We're going to connect those two points with a straight line. Just going across like that. We'll add a little seam down here. So in the middle, we're going to curve down and out towards the left. We go back up to the top and we're going to go a little bit wider as we get down towards the bottom. So going across and out towards the left. We'll add a few wrinkle lines. So from this point of this line, we're going to aim towards that knee. With a curve going up, we'll step down and draw one more aiming towards that knee. And that is pretty much it. There we have it. There's Samurai Jack. I hope you enjoyed this lesson. Make sure you subscribe and send us your requests in the comments below. Thanks for watching and we'll see you again soon.